Welcome back to the Whiskey Edition. My name is Rob. And tonight, this afternoon, we're gonna go through the five bottles you need as Matt from ADHD Whiskey did not call me out specifically, but I knew he wanted to, so I'm not mad. I'm not mad. But these are inspired by the Reddit uh, thread from last year where you only need five whiskeys. So for Matt's list, let's get started. The first is the Entry Buzz bottle, and that I have here is Jack Daniels. For me, this is much like uh, the Bourbon Bites. Clifton said, you want something you can kind of mix just to kind of get things moving. So I would have a, a rocks glass such as this, maybe some Coke, and this fantastic teeter-totter, which I thought when I got it was like the, you know, the bird thing. Look at this. I would do this, but you know, oh yeah, perfectly metered every time. So this would be my entry buzz bottle, nice big bottle of Jack and some Coke to mix it with. I gave my friend a bottle of this when we got down to Vegas a few weeks ago for the uh, NASCAR race. And uh, his wife brought something a little bit more special. I'll uh, put the box right up here. And it got drained. They both got drained, so I guess that's good. So that is the Entry Buzz bottle. So the next bottle is a current favorite of mine. It's Pinkter's American. And you can tell by how much of this I've actually drank that while a little bit on the pricey side up here in the Pacific Northwest, I think it is a great sipping bottle. I tend to sip on the rocks, and it is just a very good, smooth, uh, palatable whiskey. Uh, this and Old Forester 1920 are my two go-tos, and that bottle's empty. So um, for me, Michter's Unblended American Whiskey. I think it's a very good bottle. The next, a little known bottle, you'd own to make yourself feel cool. And for this, it's a small bottle, I've got a bigger one. It's Sandstone out of Tenino, Washington. And the reason I put this one on the list is probably very little known. I didn't know about it until they were on the news roughly this time last year where they had to shut down their production because of you know the pandemic. And so what they did was they pivoted their production to making hand sanitizer. No, Fred, not vodka, about the same thing to making hand sanitizer and not as much uh, whiskey that they weren't, they didn't think were gonna be able to sell, but they were able to ship in state. So I uh, called them up and said, hey, why don't you ship me uh, some of your product? And they said, we can't sell you the hand sanitizer. I said, no, I'll just just buy the whiskey and you can keep the hand sanitizer and this'll, this'll help you out. So that's kind of my feel good, feel cool story about Sandstone. And it is and it is very good whiskey. So the next bottle is an epic whiskey bottle to rub in your friends' faces when they get sassy. Well, I don't necessarily have anything that's that cool that nobody else, you know, that anybody else has. Um, I've got a Kentucky Owl confiscated. Uh, I've got a Dark Arts, that guy over there, which has a story behind it. I'll review that one of these days. Um, I've got some Sinatra that I'm waiting for my other buddy to, you know, open his so we can kind of drink it together, but we haven't been able to do that. I do have a Michter's 10 somewhere back there. And of course, I've got the horsey bottle. You know, that's always good to have laying around for, you know, those friends. Uh, so I think for me, the truly epic whiskey bottle is this one, the gold bar. Look at it. 
I'm sure, I'm almost positive, the whiskey's trash. But the bottle is epic. I bought this when I was on that trip in Vegas. I don't, I don't even know if it's sold anywhere else. It is a numbered bottle, 1948-55. I bought it because I turned 55, and I said, no, it's numbered. So it's a unique bottle to me. It has a special uh, place in my heart. Blended winish, <laughs> blended whiskey finished in California casks, whatever that means. So it's finished in the Golden State. It uh, blended, finished, and bottled by Gold Bar Bottle Company in San Francisco. I don't think they say where it was. Let's see. Why I'm finished in French oak wine casks from the idyllic Napa Valley. Oh, okay, so there are French oak casks. Matured by the sea in the San Francisco Bay. I'm not sure that that's a plus. Uh, Lady of Fortune coin individually minted. They do not say where they get their juice from. I think that's kind of interesting. Distilled from three grains, 80 proof, blend 889. And uh, this was also to support the, uh, the Golden Knight, uh, the Vegas Golden Knights. So they've got a recipe on the back. So this I'm going to rub in my friends' faces when they, you know, when we finally can have friends and uh, say, you know, you're missing out on a uh, truly epic whiskey that can only be found in Las Vegas. I haven't seen it anywhere else. The Gold Bar. And number five, a great long pour bottle. Ancient, ancient, age 10, 175. A lot of people believe this is Kind of uh, Blanton's light. You could substitute it for Blanton's. I think we did a little video on that a couple times ago and uh, it lost even with all the other shenanigans that were going on with it. So this will be the long pour bottle. I think uh, Bubble Bath Bourbon probably had better luck with this than his. But I will be in big trouble. Okay. It's got that thing on there. That can't be good. Aha! Cheers. Thanks for stopping by.